five motorcycle accessories I've used that have failed on me and didn't serve the purpose well. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So not all fancy motorcycle accessories advertised out there make life on two wheels easier. Along with a good collection of motorcycle accessories that I've used, there are few of which that have failed on me and didn't serve the purpose well. I'll explain five of those accessories that have failed on me so that you won't fall for their advertised gimmick. The first on the list is Prospex Easy Clutch Cable System. And now I've talked about this product before also. I've made a separate video of all the accessory that I've used on my RE Himalayan. Uh, I will leave the link of that video in the i button above. The Prospect EC Clutch System uh, is advertised as a means to reduce the clutch action by more than 50%. Yes, it reduces the clutch action more than 50%. The clutch feels very light and it is very easy to use, especially in uh, Royal Enfield bikes where the clutch is usually very hard but it comes at a very great cost. It never completely engages or disengages the clutch, making the gear shifts very hard, uh, the engine drifts up too much, it will lose a bit of power on the top end. And this is not just me, many of the Himalayan owners who tried out this product have had the similar complaints to a point where they had to go back to the stock cable itself. Now don't get me wrong, Prospec is a very good company. They make high quality, durable products. I use their uh, Easy Cruise, Easy Ride windshield extender uh, and the Easy Tax for the highway foot pegs. And those three products are amazing and they do work. But somehow this Easy Clutch cable system misses the mark. Now, I've tried many workarounds to this, but uh, it never worked till now. So for RE Himalayan owners, if you are planning to get this one, uh, think again is what I would say. The second thing on my list is the throttle rest that you get everywhere in all, almost all the motorcycle accessory shops. And in Amazon also, it is around 150 rupees. Uh, for me, it never worked. I, uh, I bought three and the, all three failed on me. The plastic is very brittle. It will break very easily. And uh, it, to, it, to install it in the handlebar itself is very difficult. And uh, I, I found the grip uh, not so strong to uh, uh, bear the weight of your palms. And uh, overall, it doesn't work. Uh, I, I've used three and all the three has failed on me. The next item on my list is Formula X Punch Sealant Fluid. Now, this is actually the bicycle pack that I got free with the bike pack. I fell for all the videos uh, out there in YouTube showing uh, how amazingly Formula X works. Uh, all the tutorials where they puncture uh, the tube and uh, show us that how this fluid seals the puncture and all the stuff. Uh, in ideal condition, it may work, but definitely didn't work for me. Uh, now, when I bought this pack and I uh, opened it uh, to install it in my bike, I read, read the instruction manual or the pamphlet that comes along with this and I found a, a disclaimer note where they have mentioned all the ideal condition that the uh, bike should be in for it to work. Like the ideal temperature, the ideal con uh, road condition, ideal pressure and all that stuff. So many items were on the list. So only in those ideal condition it might work. And it failed miserably on me uh, during my Ladakh trip. So it pang at, at, at around 15,000 feet of altitude. I had a puncture and uh, it was a small nail puncture and all the fluid leaked out of that small puncture hole and uh, it never sealed the puncture hole. Moreover, to make things worse, we had a lot of difficulty in fixing that puncture because of the fluid. Uh, it kept leaking through the hole continuously. We had to wash all the tire and the tube uh, of the liquid and uh, then only we could fix the puncture as well. Uh, so to me, all this puncture sealant fluid uh, will not work in any of the tube tires. Maybe it would work in tubeless tires and tubeless tires actually you don't need a bunch of fluid as well so don't fall for this gimmick it might work in perfect or ideal condition but when you're out there in remote conditions and uh, when you trust a fluid to perform its job uh, especially when, when you go off-road in terrain and all that it will not do its job 
The next item on my list is the stock crash guard of uh, Royal Enfield Himalayan. Now, when uh, Himalayan, uh, when you buy out of the showroom, the, there is no accessory that comes along with it. Uh, you have to pay extra for all the crash guard, the knuckle guard, uh, the brake fluid guard and all that stuff. Because I didn't want to roam around uh, looking for accessories, all these accessories in separate separate places, I installed the stock crash guard while I took delivery of my motorcycle. But uh, the stock crash guard of the Himalayan is the softest piece of metal after the handlebar. Uh, it bends on even the smallest of impact. Even if you kick the crash guard with a little bit of force, it will bend. And during one of my off-road trail uh, rides, uh, it didn't do any good when my bike fell few times and it uh, transmitted all the impact to the handlebar uh, to a point where my T-stem, uh, handlebar, uh, the forks, everything bent with just like minor fall. So don't get the stock crash guard of uh, RE Himalayan, it will easily bend off. And uh, if you want to know what, what crash guard I replaced it with, uh, please check out the uh, accessories video that I made. I will leave the link in the i button above. Get yourself a three point mounting uh, uh, crash guard that will serve the purpose well. The last thing on my list is a rescue tech air pump that you can use uh, while you are connected to the battery of your bike. Now, for some reason, uh, all these cheap uh, air pumps uh, that you can use uh, while, while connected to the battery of your bike fail miserably. Even with even on, on their second or third use, they fail. Uh, I had a Rescue Tech uh, air pump that I use and during my trip to, the Lad trip to Ladakh, it failed on the second use itself. Uh, something snapped inside and uh, it stopped working. So I had to resort to uh, the tr trusty old manual foot pump. Uh, even though it takes a little bit of extra effort to pump air, I think that is the best thing that you can carry uh, in your all your remote ad adventures. The foot pump is much more reliable uh, than the uh, battery operated electric air pumps is what I would say. With all that being said, I've had the best experience uh, on my motorcycle with the best of the accessories that I used. So you can check out the list of the accessories that works and it is very good and that which I recommend to you. Uh, all that list there on my blog, I will I include the link in the description below and I've made a separate video on that. I will link, uh, leave the link in the i button above. Now, if you have any, any more items that you want to add to this list of accessories that failed for you, please leave the link in the comment below. I will regularly up update it on my blog as well. And others may benefit from it in preventing them uh, from spending unnecessary money on that. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found some value in it. So see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.